Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Grounded. So we have another patch uh, update here for the public test of Bug Strike Back. And they've been pumping these out pretty uh, pretty regularly. I think a lot of it is due to the feedback with the Discord. So awesome job, everybody, for giving that feedback and uh, letting them know what everybody likes and what they uh, don't like. That's strictly the reason of the public test, especially for an early access game. Um, they're putting stuff out. They're doing their best to throw something out that's good, uh, good changes, and obviously new and improved gameplay and everything like that. So it's up to the players and uh, everybody else to kind of voice their opinion and let them know what we like, what we don't like. And uh, so far, I think they've been doing a bang up job of uh, not only putting the patches out, but giving us stuff that's new, quality of life changes, uh, new areas, um, armor upgrades, the weapon repair, everything. Uh, everything that we've done had so far, I think they've seen. They've taken that feedback that we've given and they've uh, made improvements on it. So um, let's just jump into it. Here's the, uh, the public test patch notes for... 3721 to 3723 of public tests 0 0.13.0. So again, one of the big issues has been the crashes for console users, whether it's Xbox Series X, Xbox One, whatever. I don't know. I don't own an Xbox. I don't play on Xbox, so I don't know. I know a lot of the comments that I've received, some of my videos are asking about, hey, are they fixing this? Or even in the Discord, hey, we're still crashing. We can't play the public test. And that's really unfortunate because you have a lot of console players that want to jump on that public test and they can't provide the feedback because they can't play the game. So hopefully, again, I think this is the second or third time they've patched in uh, fixes for the update. Um, so let's take a look at it. Fixed concept crashing on the Xbox Series X. Fixed performance issues. Uh, so hopefully that's squared away and you guys can start playing the game and uh, get into the public test. I think this public test is probably going to last a little bit longer. So I would be, I would guess that the update is probably going to be maybe uh, week three of May. Uh, that's my just guesstimate based on um, all the stuff that they've done so far with patching and a lot of the issues they've had. I think they're going to want to give uh, console players a lot more time to experience public tests so they can uh, take that feedback and uh, work with it. A big one here, repair has been reworked on upgraded weapons. All weapons and armor plus 6 or higher, so level 6 or higher, have their repair recipe replaced with repair glue. Now, for the OG players of this game, you guys remember we had armor glue way back in the day. Uh, basically went away like kind of right before I started playing it. Um, so it's a similar thing here. Now you have repair glue can be crafted at a new crafting station, the glue factory, which looks, it's literally uh, the spitting image of the old uh, smoothie station. So I'm sure we'll get a art change for that. It's probably going to look some uh, look different. Uh, weapons and armor of level 0 through 5 use their normal recipes, re normal repair recipes as usual so we'll take a look at that when we jump in the game i've got some armor i've got some weapons all with uh, various levels from zero to five and six to nine so we'll definitely take a look at that armor upgrade scraps and plate unlocks have been moved so grub plates and scraps are now unlocked via the same burgle purchase as the smithing station so i believe you can get the smithing station really early on i think it's 2500 raw science for the smithing station uh, so it looks like the recipe for the grub plates and scraps are only uh, 100 raw science so that's good uh, berry plates and scraps are now unlocked on the hedge chip in a bundle with the glue factory. So now, um, if you haven't been able to play on console and you're doing the redoing the story, so now the um, the glue factory and the berry plates and scraps are going to be unlocked with the hedge super chip that you'll get in that area. And that price is 500 raw science. Pupa plates and scraps are now unlocked on the same chip as weapon upgrade jewels, which I believe is the chip that's in the termite cave. So you don't have to kill the uh, termite king, but it's going to be in that area. Price is a thousand raw science, and it makes sense. So your first uh, grub plates and scraps are going to be a hundred. Second tier basically is going to be five hundred. Then your third tier, the pupa, is going to be a thousand raw science. So progression right there. That's good. Daggers upgrade down candy paths can harvest underwater again. That's good. Uh, underwater creatures have had their resistances slash weaknesses to chopping damage replaced with slashing damage to accommodate the new dagger damage type. That's good. Uh, repairer. I don't think it's a hammer, but repair tool damage doubled. So basically your repair tool is going to repair twice as fast. That's good. Uh, we have new art for the waft provoker. I know I hear a lot of people saying waft. It's pronounced waft, like wafting in the air. So hopefully that helps you guys out and anybody else watching the video. It's waft, wafting. Anyways, attacks triggered via the waft provoker will end if the waft provoker is destroyed. And I've got a uh, an idea on this why this is something here attacks tr triggered via the waft provoker are allowed to be more destructive before payback can be considered delivered so okay tuned some of the bug parts that can be placed in the waft provoker to add more rage than before so i'm curious about this i haven't really messed with the wafter yet the waft provoker um is the more rage that you provide does that increase the number of insects does that increase the difficulty of the insects does that increase does that have anything to do with the rewards that you're getting from the waft provoker i know uh 
there was a video out that showed that you were only getting basic items from the insects and now you're able to get um more of the rare or uncommon resources from the insects. So we've got to test out that waft provoker a little bit and then we'll do our own uh, opinion and likes, dislikes about that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the game and check out some of this uh, weapon and armor upgrades here. So here we are now. So this is the smoothie station. Now this was the, uh, the artwork for the old smoothie station. You can see it here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, glue factory so it has the art of the new smoothie station but here it shows the old smoothie station so this is the glue factory a building designed to smash bug pieces into glue perfect for repairing more advanced equipment so pretty cheap right now I don't know if they're gonna change the uh, the cost of this but I if they do I could see it being more expensive um, so one acorn top five sprigs relatively easy to get so you can get that really early on once you complete the hedge and uh, so we've built it right here let's go ahead and take a look at it so your repair glue obviously just has this artwork right now. Again, I believe that's going to get changed. You're probably going to have one for each type of uh, repair glue you use. The good thing is that it's not set to a certain type of armor. So if I put termite parts in, it's just going to give me repair glue. It's not going to be specific for termite armor. Um, same thing with roly poly, stink bug, antlion, bombardier, and ladybug. So you're, those aren't, as of now, these are not tied to the type of armor that you have to make. So we'll go ahead and throw some of these in here. Let's see, what do we have a ton of? Ladybug parts, antlion parts. Let's throw those in there. So we're going to get those cooking. So we already have some uh, made right here. So repair glue, obviously this stuff sticks to anything. Repair armor and weapons have been upgraded past a certain point. So levels 6 through 9, you're going to be able to use the repair glue. So we have our armor right here. Our uh, Koi scale armor is all level 9 sleek. So if we go to repair that, you're going to see repair glue. One repair glue. Now I think the cost is going to change. If anything, it should be catered to how much um, durability you have left. So you can see my Koi Scale chest plate is about uh, about a third of the way damaged. So I would think that that's going to use more repair glue than something that's barely damaged like my helmet here. But I think this is a great uh, step in the right direction of giving us a different way to repair armor. And it's not going to take your pupil leather plates. It's, it's not going to take 10 different resources to repair some. I think that's where they were kind of getting lost and making it more difficult than it needed to be. Um, so that's good. So now we have some armors over here that's all uh, level 0 through 5. Actually, all level 0, except for the roly-poly level 4. So we can look at the ladybug armor here. It's going to take the uh, the normal stuff that it used to prior to this. So ladybug part, berry leather. Ladybug part, berry leather. And ladybug part, berry leather. We look at the bee face mask, bee fuzz, and berry leather. Same thing right there. So super useful. So now players that are starting out the game, you're not going to go have to get grubs and then berries and then pupil leather just to upgrade your armors, at least not up to level 5. You can see our roly-poly helmet here, same thing. Roly-poly part and bug loop. Uh, pupil leather and roly-poly part and bug loop right there. So these are going to be used for uh, your level 6 through 9. So we can go ahead and take a look at our weapons too. We have a spider fang dagger right here, level 5. Let's go ahead and check that. So this is still going to take your quartzite, your spider chunk, and spider venom. So anything level 0 through 5 is going to take the ingredients that were required prior to this. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Is this damage at all? So this is a level nine, level 8 spicy black ant sword, rather. It's going to take one repair glute. Now I do see this changing a little bit because this is kind of a catch-all right now. Um, so take advantage of it for what it is right now. But I do see this getting changed. Uh, prior to the update getting dropped now that's just my opinion i have no information insider information one way or the other on that level nine spicy antlion great sword one repair glue so it's not taking the candies and stuff like that anymore to repair it but i could see that changing a little bit at least maybe some antlion parts or something more specific to the type of weapons um since this is covering everything level six through nine with armor and weapons i can see this kind of getting um reworked just a little bit to where it's more specific to the weapon Maybe they don't. That'd be great. Uh, you see Black Ant Sword here. Obviously, we looked at that. Um, crossbow is also repair glue. I can see them at least sprinkling in. So it's a crow crossbow, maybe one or two crow feathers, and then the glue. And then maybe a few antlion parts, and then the glue. Maybe a few black ant parts, and then the glue. Stuff like that for the uh, for the repairs. So I think overall, it's uh, some great patchwork uh, for this stuff to get done. And you can see no matter what parts we put in here, we're just getting a basic repair glue. So that's good. I hope they keep that the way that way for the armor. Maybe sprinkle in a few insect sp specific stuff for the armor. I think that would be okay. I don't think the community would get an uproar over that. But overall, great patchwork. Hopefully the console players are uh, able to play again without crashing every little thing they do. And uh, that's it. So there's our patch notes for the latest uh, 
public test patch that came out for Bug Strike Back. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Are you on board with these changes? Do you not like them? Do you like the way they're changing the progression? Do you like the fact that they're actually, actually listening to the feedback that we're providing? Let me know in the comments below. So that's all we got for this video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, like I said, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you join the community. And with that being said, take care of yourself, everybody. Take care of each other. And as always, stay original, my friends. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.